guys and welcome back to my channel! I'm really glad to see you all in today's video in which I will inform you about top 10 most beautiful looking perfumes from my collection and I'm pretty much sure you guys will agree with me that the most important part about the perfume is the way it smells. But let's be honest, there are so many great smelling perfumes that have such a boring packaging that people are simply not attracted to them. And I find that is such a pity and I think it is very important to pay attention not only to the way perfume smells but also to the way it looks. So I decided to talk about perfumes that have very unique and different looking packaging and of course I will also tell you how they smell but obviously I have more than 10 beautiful perfumes in my collection so if you're interested in a part 2 let me know that and if you want to learn more about most beautiful looking perfumes then please keep on watching. And the first brand that I'm gonna start with is called Sarah Baker Perfumes and uh, her concept is to create perfumes inspired by different fabrics, by different materials. And Sarah Baker is a very talented artist. I know her personally. I interviewed her and she explained everything about her brand and passion. So if you want to learn more about her background and about her perfumes from her, then please check out that video. But I will show you how beautiful her perfumes look. So this first one that I'm obsessed with is called Lace. And First of all, you see this unique written letters and then lace design all over the bottle. So this perfume is a very teasing, just as lace material. It has powdery, milky scent of um, delicate white floral petals powdered with sheer coconut um, dust. It is powdery and delicious, but not really sweet or gourmand, and it is a very strong, sensual perfume. I love it a lot, and I do love her golden and black design. I find it a very successful color combination. And then I wanted also to show you the box that the fragrance comes in. It also has a lace design, the letters, and then inside there is a silky materials that uh, makes the experience with this perfume extra luxurious and the second favorite of mine is called leopard and it has a leopard design all over it and this is definitely that wild spicy rosy scent with a depth of patchouli and you want to wear it when you want something deep and sexual and um something that will bring you a lot of joy and adventures. So these are both perfumes side by side. They look alike, but um, you can see the difference because this one has a leopard design and this one has a lace design. So that being said, let's move on to the second perfume in this list. It is called I Had a Dream and it is by the Niche perfume house from France, Match de Bicali. And this is honestly my signature scent because this is so sexy. It has kind of like a powdery spiciness to it and it smells like your skin but better. It has this animalic sensuality coming out of it and I really adore the shape of the bottle because it reminds me of a stone with a satin finish and the cap is hand polished and it is wooden and it is also very secure which is definitely a pleasant experience. So this perfume is my go-to signature scent perfect for any occasion it's very sensual perfume, but not too much for every day, and it is unisex. I adore it so much, I truly love it, and um, I highly recommend you guys to invest in this house if you're looking for something extra niche and extra long-lasting. So this next perfume is probably the most uh, beautiful one in my collection, just called Crystal de Afrique, and it is inspired by African roots of the creator David. And let's be honest, guys, this bottle is truly mesmerizing, it is a true treasure, and when I look at it, it reminds me of desert. So, you guys, the cap is marble and it is hand polished. It also has a 
golden logo and uh, it is a crystal glass and this perfume smells very hot like African continent it smells wild and the color of the juice is very intense just as the scent is because it is almost 100% natural and even though I thought it might be not for everybody because it is very strong and it is a dominant scent obviously when people see my collection this is the first bottle that uh, stands out and they like the scent which surprised me a lot so this is a very high quality perfume inside and out. So that's been mentioned, now let's move on to the perfumes from the Australian niche perfume house called Fort and Manley, and I'm a huge admirer of Russis Ford's artistry. I have a lot of favorites from his collection. So his perfumes are very interesting. He uses very special ingredients which make his perfume smell different from everybody else and this is his new packaging this is the old packaging and the label is actually handmade there are a lot of different details so you can definitely spend some time discovering beautiful elements this perfume impressions de giverny is a beautiful fresh floral scent with a little bit of aquatic vibe it is a great one and a very easy one to wear also unisex not too much of flowers for a man and then mr Bojnikov's purple hat has interesting combination of of lavender, chocolate and oud, which a lot of people find interesting and uh, different. The perfume Amber absolutely is the first amber perfume that I fell in love with because it is a rich oriental amber scent with plum. And Confessions of a Garden Gnome is the perfume that represents garden gnome who sits in the garden and experiences all four different seasons. And finally, two last perfumes are my favorites. Charlatan is this delicious uh, chocolatey lily scent that I absolutely uh, love. And uh, Fatih Sultan Mehmet is my signature scent, the first one that I discovered from this house. It is like salty tulpans, very unique. So that's been mentioned, let's move on to the next niche perfume house from Italy that is called House of Oud. And of course, House of Oud is known for their beautiful packaging. And this new collection is inspired by different moments that we experience in time, that is why it is called In Time. And this first perfume with green and uh, red elements has matte finish and every single bottle from the House of Wood perfumes look different because it's handmade and hand painted and this perfume is the easiest one to wear it is very versatile and unisex it has interesting note of hinoki wood which is citrusy woodsy fresh and this perfume is amazing for warmer weather because it's very refreshing and energizing the next perfume is this orange one it's very beautiful and it is strange strangely spicy, has a note of Paolo Santo and it is perfume not for everybody but for people who love spices and this one, the blue one, is my favorite because it has a very delicate powdery note and uh, tea scent so it is aromatic and very elegant. And finally perfume Wonderly that stole the heart of my boyfriend and mine too. It smells like delicious milk with apricots and powder. It is truly delicious. So now let's talk about Angela Champagne's perfumes. Oh my god, have you ever seen a bottle like this? Actually, this amazing cap is inspired by the symbol of Angela's hometown in Italy, which I find is such an interesting tribute. And the fragrance itself, Rosarium, is very interesting because it has a smoky incense, but at the same time there is violet for the powderiness and carriage seeds, which I admire so much because they're spicy but powdery and then juniper berries for aromatic uh, woodsy piney freshness. Angela Champagne's perfumes are like nothing else out there inside and out and I have a lot of flavors from her collection. So now let's move on to perfumes from Zoologist and I love Victor's uh, passion for perfumery and um, animals because all his perfumes are inspired by different animals and when I saw the bottle I was mesmerized because not only the animal looks really cute but also it has a very particular shape of the bottle. This glass is very sharp and it is interesting. It looks just really cool, just pleasant to have it in your hand and the cap has a very luxurious leathery element and of course the Zoologist label. So Zoologist packaging is also modern but at the same time it is unique and 
then Omega by Mandy Rosa Odori Danima. This is a great Italian perfume brand. And if I could have all perfumes from one brand, that would be it. All the fragrances have amazing stories and beautiful packaging. Omega is a favorite of mine. It has this uh, Omega symbol. The cup is almost like uh, a stone and the scent smells of dusty powdery vanilla with leather and oud. So now we are moving on to Abdul Karim Al Francis perfumes, which are very Arabic, very Oriental, and I love his packaging so much because the bottle is tiny, it looks very royal, and it has an oily texture. The perfume is pretty oily, so this is how you apply it, and you need just the tiniest bit because it is very long lasting. It has a velvet bottom, so it is very pleasant to put it on the shelf uh, because it doesn't make a uh, noise and it is a very 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 interesting artistic uh, work so his perfumes are truly special now we are moving on to the perfume from the French niche perfume brand called MDCI and the fragrance that I have is called Invasion Barbare this perfume is so good but the packaging is even better look at this beautiful woman she represents the beauty of a woman to me. She reminds me of a French uh, museum with beautiful statues there and the scent itself is spicy, freshly lavenderish and elegant everyday go-to scent. And that basically completes this video, guys. I hope you found this idea interesting. And if you're interested in the second part of most beautiful looking perfumes, leave me a comment below, because I wanted to show you not only artistry in the bottle, but also in artistry outside and um, the majority of these brands are indie brands and I'm very passionate about their work so please leave me a comment below which perfume you liked the most and uh, if you haven't subscribed already please do so because that helps me out a lot and I really appreciate your support like this video if you enjoyed watching it and uh, stay tuned smell good and we'll see each other next one really soon bye guys